You may have expressed yourself or seen another person say things such as, Christians are self-righteous, judgmental hypocrites. The statement has truth to it, but also falsehood. First, I think it's good to define the words in the prior statement. Sadly, people misuse words, use later modified definitions, or just make up definitions that suit their own purposes. First of all, we should ask, what is a Christian? The word Christian was invented to describe people who learned and attempted to live the teachings of Jesus the Christ. So if a person does not strive to follow Jesus' teaching, they are not a Christian. They may be saved, but they are not a Christian. So being a Christian is not based on what one believes, but on what one does. When it comes to being self-righteous, defining this phrase is difficult and open to opinion. Webster's Dictionary defines righteous as morally justified. If we put that together with self, it could mean one morally justified according to their opinion. Or, the first thought that I had was, a righteousness that comes from one's own labor. This is certainly not why Christians are referred to as righteous. For example, the Apostle Paul said the following about some Israelites. Since they did not know the righteousness of God, and sought to establish their own righteousness, they did not submit to God's righteousness. The only reason Christians are righteous is because God gave them his own perfect righteousness as a gift. The gift is nothing they earn, but is given out of God's mercy. One dictionary I stumbled across that defines phrases defines self-righteous as having or characterized by a certainty, especially an unfounded one, that one is totally correct or morally superior. People should realize that Christians don't make up such certainties on their own. They are simply trusting in what they believe God has revealed. So the certainty they portray is not in themselves, but in God. By this definition, I guess a person who is certain that the universe came into existence through the Big Bang could be called self-righteous. But obviously this definition is open to much interpretation. Now about Christians being judgmental, this is true. But contrary to popular belief, Jesus actually commanded his followers to judge people. A verse that a lot of non-Christian people have memorized is where Jesus said, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. Many people, Christians included, may be ignorant of where Jesus also said, Stop judging by mere appearances but instead judge correctly. This verse shows us that the judging Jesus was against was judging by appearance. And if people read the verse following Matthew 7.1, they would see Jesus was speaking of hypocritical judgment. So when the saints judge hypocritically or by appearance, they are not following Christ and are thus not Christians at that moment. And the final point is hypocrisy. I just touched on hypocrisy, so no new explanation is needed. The saints definitely can be hypocrites, and allow me to expose one avenue of hypocrisy that is obvious today. Jesus told his followers, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. A person who calls themselves a Christian and fails to preach the gospel is indeed a hypocrite. So a Christian that does not obey Christ is an oxymoron. It's like saying that pacifists endorse war. Those who have been saved have the same problems as the unsaved and are no better, just better off. The only reason they are better off is because they have humbled themselves before God and accepted his gift of salvation.